Hello, travel friends. Welcome back. In this episode, we will be comparing the Guinness Storehouse versus the Javison Distillery. For this episode, we will be comparing the basic tours. And at the time of this recording, both of them cost 26 euros. Both places do have multiple experiences that you can purchase, mm -hmm. so you can like add on stuff, but we're just gonna compare the two basic tours. So let's get started with the Guinness tour. I am team Guinness Storehouse. I have been three or four times now, and it is just iconic. It does take a little more time. I believe it's about 90 minutes for to go through the tour and then you end with a pint on the rooftop. When you go through on this self-guided tour, you are going to learn all about the history of Guinness, how it's made, and then also just the details of its 250 plus year existence. Back in the day, Arthur Guinness created Guinness and he signed a 9,000 year lease. So when you're going through this tour, I think what's really cool about it is just, it is a production. You're going up escalators, you're learning about the specific water and why water is so important for the brewing of their beer, the hops, every single process. And each one feels so immersive and interactive. And then you also get to get a really good look at their marketing. I think that was my favorite area. They have some really hilarious marketing. And so you can go in and you can actually take photos with these giant Guinness figurines. After that, you'll then go in and do your standard tasting. They really walk you through the tasting, which is really fun. And then you'll end the tour, like I mentioned earlier, going up to the gravity bar. The gravity bar is really cool. It's got a 360 degree view of Dublin. And you'll also then get your included Guinness pint. If you don't drink alcohol, they also have Guinness 0.0. Then you can chill at the top while you're sipping your Guinness and look at Dublin. The Guinness storehouse is definitely a very good experience. It is the most popular, I think the most popular tourist attraction in Dublin, which is, I guess, a little surprising and also maybe a little not surprising. It's very well crafted. Mm -hmm. They really did a good job making this tour very friendly and approachable. Mm -hmm. Like you can feel the barley. You can see what hops look like before they're processed and the bar at the top. Mm -hmm. The view is great. You know, if you're looking for, you know, some place to see a view of Dublin, it is wonderful. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy the Guinness storehouse. Do you have any cons of Guinness storehouse? I think the con, if you compare it to the Javison tour, is that it's self-guided. So while you are going around at your own pace, you do have to you know, go around and look at stuff, mm -hmm. read stuff, do stuff on your own. And also the 90 minute estimate is, I would say that that's a little deceiving. I don't know if the whole, the tour itself is 90 minutes. I think it's probably a little bit shorter and then you can go and relax at the bar at the top. And I think that that might be included in this 90 minutes because I, I don't recall us staying in the tour for that long. So I am team Jameson and I, I really enjoyed the Jameson distillery experience. The main thing I really like is that it is guided. Mm -hmm. So you can't go in there and just mosey around by yourself. You do have someone guiding you. They give you the history and they go through tastings with you. It's really good for people who are not well versed mm -hmm. in whiskey. So I think when you go there and you're not a whiskey person, I, I actually think the experience is better for you mm -hmm. because you have someone that kind of tells you what to smell, what to taste, the different nuances between several different types of whiskey. I really enjoyed that personal touch of always having a guide there. For me, that was very rewarding mm -hmm. and a really high value. That was like a really big, unique hands-on touch. Again, highly, highly recommend both. Mm -hmm. 
or either, right? Maybe one is closer to you, maybe one the hours are more convenient to your travel time. Both are really, really good options. We're just comparing them if you really just had to choose uh, one. Uh, hope this episode was a little useful to you guys. Yeah, um, feel, please like and subscribe. Let us know your thoughts in the comments yep. and uh, happy travels. Bye.